Today we are going to be doing a tutorial of how to get an auto-tune effect on vocals in Logic Pro 10 using only stock plugins. So first I think it's important to just get a little bit of terminology on the table. So auto-tune is a plugin made by Antares and auto-tune is really the classic auto-tune sound. It's, you know, the T-Pain kind of late 90s, early 2000s all over the place. You can also use it for a more gentle pitch correction. It's still one of the industry standards today along with Melodyne. The only problem with this plugin is it's about $300. So what to do if we're on a budget? Luckily, Logic comes free stock if we go down to pitch with a pitch correction plugin. Now, this alone isn't going to do everything that we're able to do using something like Auto-Tune or Melodyne. However, um, Logic's stock pitch correction mixed with the flex pitch feature allows us to get pretty close and very um, serviceable pitch correction and auto-tune effects. So let's start by spending some time in the pitch correction plugin. I'm going to blow this up a little bit so we can see better. Let's start by playing um, this track. This is just a vocal track along with an instrumental. The vocal track currently has nothing on it. I will turn off pitch correction. Let's just take a quick listen to get an idea of how it sounds. I'll start by uh, playing both together and then I'll mute the instrumental so we can really focus in on the vocal track. Pleasantly surprised to find myself evacuate my mind. The smoke alarm is blaring. Everything is baffling myself into confusion. All right, so that's just a raw vocal um, that was recorded on a Focusrite 2i2 and a Shure SM58. These are very cheap pieces of hardware, um, very entry level, good budget options to get started on a home studio, and you can still get pretty good sounding stuff out of this cheap gear. So, this is just the clean. Um, vocal recording off of that mic with a little bit of gain from the focus rights built in preamp. What I'm going to do is just throw on my um, vocal chain template. I will also make a video on all the stuff going on here, but this is just going to make this sound a little bit better. I am going to bring up the high pass just a bit because there's a lot of kind of muddiness going on in this sample. So let's take Turn off the pitch correction. Take another li quick listen. Pleasantly surprised to find Not brighter. Myself evacuate my mind. The smoke alarm is blaring. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is work on this um, processed vocal because this is a more realistic scenario. So I'm gonna turn back on my pitch correction, open it up, and let's start to walk through all of the features. It's a pretty simple plugin. There's not too too much going on here. Um, over, let's start on the left side. We've got this global tuning and this reference pitch function. So if you really want to like tune to, let's say you have like some really flat guitars or something and it's easier to just pitch. If you're using pitch correction, you really probably aren't going to be messing with this. This is if you want to like set your auto tune to be using a slightly lower or higher reference pitch. So we're going to leave on global tuning. We've got two different ranges, normal and low. If you're really a bass, you might want to put it down on low, but for us, we're just going to use the normal range. Over here, we've got a root and a scale. If you happen to know the key your song is in, you can go ahead and choose it. So I know that this scale is in C major. It's actually in A minor, but these are the same notes. Yeah, we'll throw the F and the B back in. So this is the other feature. We can also come in and click which notes we want. So as we activate these notes, what's going to happen is the pitch correction plugin is going to pull the vocal toward that note. So if we have, if we're singing an F, an F sharp, and a G, and those are the only three notes we're singing, we want to turn off all the other notes, and it's going to force all of our notes to be F, F sharp, and G. Pleasantly surprised to find myself in that. That does not sound good. We're not going to do that. Let's go back to chromatic and turn off all of our sharps. 
Also in this area, we've got this BYP button. This stands for bypass. You want to use bypass if you don't want the pitch correction to apply to certain notes. So if the plugin reads an A as the note you're singing and we bypass A, it's not going to apply correction to the A. Now, the most important knob on this plugin is our response time. So the response time is how long pitch correction is going to take to fix your note. So if we set it to very slow, it's going to take a very long time to fix the note. 999 milliseconds is a very long time. You're only ever going to hear that in a really long sustained note. Generally, we want to stick around 120 to around 60 in my experience. If we want to go all the way down, here's where we get into T-Pain mode. Pleasantly surprised to find myself evacuate. We get into a very computer sounding vocal because what's happening is it's instantly um, forcing all of your pitch to be a um, correct note and that takes all the human element out of it. Generally around 100 is where you start to hear a difference on a normal sort of vocal track. Pleasant. I'm just going to go ahead and drag this down as we as the vocals playing so you can sort of start to hear the effect. Pleasantly surprised to find myself evacuate my mind. The smoke alarm is blaring. Everything is baffling myself into confusion. Right up around 90 is usually where I start. Um, I do like my vocals to sound a little bit um, corrected. There, there is sort of a sound and a tone to having corrected vocals, especially in electronic music, a bit less so in um, rock, um, more traditional genres, but especially in EDM, things are getting very kind of tight on the pitch correction. Pleasantly surprised to find myself evacuate my mind. That about covers it for the plugin. It's really simple to use. You're going to spend a lot of time just kind of fine tuning um, exactly what you want your response to be. This detune is if you want to move it down um, 50 cents or up 50 cents. You don't really want to play with that too much. I'm mostly setting the notes I want it to correct to and then setting how fast I want it to correct. And that wraps up part one of my Logic Auto-Tune using stock plugins tutorial. Today we went over using the pitch correction plugin. In the next video, we're going to be going over Logic's flex pitch feature, which lets you go into an audio file and note by note, word by word, do fine tuning, pitch, formant, gain, all sorts of different adjustments to your audio um, by slicing through it using the Logic flex features. So be sure to subscribe if you want to be notified when that goes live. Uh, leave the video a like if you found it helpful so that others can find the video as well. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful evening, night, morning, day, whenever you may be watching this. And see you next time.